here I have a cool blog module and in this video I would like to show you quickly how to properly use our blog modules. The first most important thing is to add posts. Depending on the module you will use and number of articles you would like displayed, you should have at least two or three posts created. For this module I'm using as the example in this video, I should have at least three obviously. So go to post page and create posts, if you haven't already. Each blog post needs to have a featured image assigned. Open the post, scroll down a bit and on your right you're going to see the featured image option. If there is no image set, click on that and assign an image. That's the image that is going to be displayed in the blog module. And the first image when someone opens the post. To make sure that blog module is going to look like exactly as on the demo page, make sure that all the images you're adding are consistent and they all have the same size. Also uploading huge images is not recommended and your page may be significantly slow if you do that, so try to optimize your images before uploading them, try to reduce the size and weight of the images you're uploading. Let's also quickly go to this blog module settings. Here's the edit page screen and here's the module. So let me quickly go through some general options here. You can change the number of the posts that are going to be shown on the page. And another important thing is you can check which categories you want to show. So when you go to your post, on your right you can assign that post a category or you can create a new category and add the post to that category you just created. So now you can select only that category or you can select some other categories as well. If you don't have any categories, uh, make sure that your blog posts are not assigned to any and just select uncategorized here. If you're working on a website but don't have content yet, you just want to set up the blog module on a page you can use our demo content that you can download from our website. Then use the tools import to import those blog posts. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.